23, 23 of 24 members of the IMF's board of directors are men. You're even being interviewed by a man at this conference. Uh, I, want, I want to ask you if, if you see any hope. It seems as if <laughs> the world is going the wrong way. There's a kind of nasty, macho streak in politics, uh, not only in this country, but I see it in many other countries. Uh, leaders who seem to make uh, the most of their masculinity in usually a somewhat embarrassing way. You said in an interview recently that for a woman to get to the top, you need, quote, skin as thick as an old crocodile. I don't find that encouraging. Can you give the women in this audience <laughs> some hope that you can get to the top without crocodile skin? <laughs> well, I regret to say that the crocodile skin is, is, is unfortunately uh, a sine qua non for a period of time. But then I very much hope that um, we can take off the crocodile skin and be normal human beings uh, without having to shield against uh, you know, uh, horrible attacks, uh, below the belt punches, and all this crappy stuff, frankly, that uh, abound at the moment. Uh, because I believe that diversity and what we represent as human beings uh, ha should have a seat on a photo like that and at, the t at all tables. Uh, because if not all views and all sensitivities and the, um, you know, what we believe in, the values we have uh, are not represented properly and are not there, we're just missing half the skills, the talent, the views, the humanity that, that we so badly need at the moment. So I hope this photo changes. Yeah.